Hello, this is the craft area or soon to be craft area. We're gonna work on it for the next couple days, I think at least. Come on, come on, I'll show you. Hi, cozy friends. I am Kennedy, if you don't know me. I have been doing makeovers on this apartment since I moved in. And this is kind of one of the last areas that we're working on. And I didn't have the idea to make this into a like craft room, craft space until recently. I don't know why. Recently I was like, I need somewhere to do messy crafts. If I wanna do like pottery, I need somewhere to do that. I can't do that in my like nicer inside hobby room. So I'm so lucky to have this whole extra space to work with. So we're gonna make it over and it's gonna be pretty simple but make this whole side of the garage a little craft space for fun crafts. So this is the official before. This is the before or at least this is the side of the garage that we're going to be making into the craft space. This is the side of the garage we're gonna have for storage and working out kind of like a workout area. Literally this whole side is gonna be for crafts. For now we just have so much space to work with and I'm so excited. I'll kind of show you the lighting situation. So it's a rainy day today, but this is what the kind of backyard looks like. And we can leave this open and there's a decent amount of light. And I was like, well, we'll probably always have to have the door open. It'll probably be too dark when I close it, but it's actually pretty light in here when you close it. This is the garage closed. Like it doesn't feel claustrophobic or dark or anything. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. So there's also this element of privacy because our landlords live downstairs and like, I don't think I would necessarily want, want them like having to watch us do like crafts and stuff in here all the time. So it's kind of nice that we can close it. I don't know, hang out in here, vibe in here, play music if we want. I love that. I'm excited about it being light. I thought that that was not gonna be an option. So I'm really excited about that. Before we dive too into the makeover, we have a word from our cozy sponsor. I'm just so excited. So let's talk about Skillshare. I've used Skillshare personally for over a year now. And my goal this year is to use it even more for specifically my arts and crafts skills. Skillshare has like thousands of classes led by industry pros, which makes it super easy to learn a new skill in any area of your life. Every kind of like arts and craft you can imagine, productivity, music, business, social media, coding, so many other categories too. I also love that they have learning paths, which is basically like a curated playlist by Skillshare that includes multiple classes in like one category. One that I've been exploring lately is creative confidence and silencing your inner critic. My favorite class so far is everyone is creative, five exercises to reconnect with your inner creativity. I love that this class had like actionable steps to take to inspire that creativity within yourself. So far I've learned to leave perfectionism at the door, which is something I always talk about. We don't need our art to be good to be purposeful and fun for us to engage in. It also taught me that everybody is creative so don't tell yourself you're not a creative person because you can foster that creative energy within yourself. If you want to start your learning journey today the first 500 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks Skillshare! Now back to our craft space. I do not have a vision for this space at all. Okay. No vision. I think I drew up a little plan. I'll put it here. This is the best I have for vision. And then I'm gonna put some Pinterest inspo of the mommy craft rooms that I see that like I dream of. I, I, I go to sleep and I dream of having a craft room like this <sighs> someday. But for now we're in a kind of spider filled garage and that's okay. I'm taking it. I'm ecstatic. I think my first step right now is just cleaning. I'm just gonna clean and I'm gonna build furniture. So there's just a lot of kind of leaves and stuff from I think nobody having touched this garage in a while. So that's it for now. That's my plan for now. These spiders, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna befriend by the end of this process. I think I've got three friends, uh, Barry, Gregory, and Sandy. Uh, good guys, really good guys. Okay, let's, let's start cleaning, let's start cleaning. I think I just saw some mold on the floor. That's something for sure. That's something for sure. Uh, maybe we'll figure that out. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just gonna start sweeping. A broom and a drain. Okay. So there's two plugs up on the ceiling and one the garage opener is plugged into. So I got this splitter so that we can at least have like one more plug from that plug. And then this one is just gonna go straight into the wall because it's a surge protector. We'll do that. It started raining, so I gotta move you inside.
I've cleared out the whole side. I want to grab some bleach cleaner just to make sure I get all the mold off of this area since this is where we'd be like sitting over here. I'm okay with it like not being the cleanest floor since we're basically outside. Like the floor doesn't have to be like spick and span, but I do just want to make sure there's no mold <laughs> just for like health purposes. I think I would like to like caulk these little gaps because it seems like that's what they did. So I think I might get some caulk and like reseal these and then kind of like go around and seal the edges just so that there's less creepy crawlies <laughs> over here because I feel like they're probably coming in through there. Okay, I'm learning one of the boxes I had was the desk, which is like the main focal point of everything. I was like, well, I have to wait till tomorrow. Like really set everything up because the desk is the main thing. The desk is apparently right here, but I don't understand how. That would mean the, the tabletop is in two pieces. How does that work? So these are here temporarily, but I can get some outdoor rugs that match better and just have a cooler aesthetic. Regular kind of beige rug, kind of has a cute checkered pattern. This one is also a cool checkered pattern, but it's similar to this where it's just like plastic woven so I can more easily clean it. These are four by six. Oh, I don't know. Okay, y'all, I just ordered the two checkered ones. I just feel like it'll have a better pattern, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna, I guess, build this desk that I guess is a desk. I don't know. I'm gonna build the desk. I'm gonna try and build the calyx shelves in the chair. And I think that's all I have in me for today. Status update, the desk is finished. The chair is in progress. Ryan's building the chair. While Ryan builds the chair, I'll be doing the calyx shelves. And that's the update, gonna keep checking along. We did the calyxes. One, two. Rugs just got delivered. Everything's coming together. I'm gonna put the rugs and then put the desk on top and then figure out where these are gonna go. We just put down the outdoor rugs and put the table on top and now we're gonna see, just like play around with where the calyx would go, but I don't know if we're gonna keep it there for now. This is one option where the calyx are on either side. I feel like that's cool, but let's just test it with the ones flat. That's nice. That's the, ooh, that just like looks cool. Yeah, and then. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's it for tonight. See you tomorrow for the final stuff. Okay, y'all, day two, day two. Today is like organizing and final things day. Uh, one really exciting thing is I got this whiteboard slash pegboard slash hanging thing to go right in the middle. So we're not gonna have anything up on the walls this time around, but boop, just imagine this boop right in the middle, boop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I brought down like blankets cause we have a, a extra blanket basket in here. So I'm gonna have a little blanket basket in the corner and then I'm just gonna kind of organize everything else. Let's get started. Given that she spent the better part of the morning dressed, she dug her tar covered fingers and toes into the cracks between. Okay y'all, I've had some good sitting here decompressing this has been like a long process surprisingly like building furniture all day yesterday wore me out i don't know like how that happens but um so now i'm just like it's taking everything in me just to build these like alex inserts but i really want to because they're gonna be really helpful <laughs> but it's just taking everything in me. So I have like a YouTube video that I'm gonna put on. Oh, 
just wish me luck, guys. Also, I don't want to say there's going to be a part two to this video, but I, I realized we'll finish like the base of this room. But I do want to show y'all like the finishing touches and kind of like everything else. So we'll do like base and organizing the actual crafts this time. But I do want to do like a, a finishing up final touches video because I want to show y'all that process too. It'll be fun. So it'll be a future one doing kind of all of the finishing touches and that'll be fun. We'll see the finished product together. We'll see it through together. Procrastinating on making these damn shelves. It just seemed a little bit complicated. I don't know. Like building the calyx was more straightforward than this. So I don't know y'all. Okay, I'm gonna get to it though. I'm gonna get to it. Then I did them opposite so that when you're like sitting at the desk and you pull it open, like same with this one, if you're sitting at the desk, you pull it open that way so that's easier to get to. And then I have two drawer ones. So I just wanted to get like a mix of drawer, cabinet, and then like cubby boxes because for some of the things, like for some cubby things, you want to easily pull it out and then like bop and use it. But then some of the stuff, like you want to conceal it, you don't want to show it because a little bit more messy. And then the drawers will be nice for things that are easier to organize in drawers, I guess. I don't know, I'm hoping the drawers are just like screw on the tracks and then you're good to go, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, y'all, I finished the drawers. I'm so excited, yay. I think I might have built these wrong. Yep. Built all four of them upside down. Here I go. I'm gonna undo most of what I just did. Oh, I was too, so excited to finish. I just was powering through. Okay, I fixed the in the inside parts of the drawers and I did one of the drawers. I moved these where I put these up here and they're supposed to be down here. My question is, why would you put holes here if the holes aren't meant for anything? That's confusing. I know it's easier for them because they don't have to do have a, like a left side and right side drilling machine, but like, why? I know it's my fault. It is my fault. I don't want to accept the fact that it's my fault. <laughs> I'm going to put one in just so that I have the willpower to keep going and the encouragement to keep going because I can see what it, it's going to look like. Okay. Yay! That's so cute! I love that! And it's like a solid drawer. That's a real drawer right there. Okay, I have the willpower. Okay, I finished the drawers. I'm back to happy. I'm back to happy. Let's put these babies in. Yay! And last one. looks so good though like what it looks so good and then we have like two drawers and we have like a, a, a thing like it's just i like the variety of it the inserts this is just a warning for anyone looking into getting the calyx storage the drawers and inserts take way longer to build than the actual shelves themselves so you gotta really want those puppies now that the building is officially done i'm looking around do i have any more building to do no i have no more building to do i'm going to start organizing
was amazing. You got a talent. So it's like maybe all of the markers just need to go in here. You know? Because this goes to here. here. Yeah. yeah. And then put these in here. Yeah. And then it's okay if they're a little bit... Like mm -hmm. it's worse if these it's are... It's terrible. Yeah. It's <laughs> actually... <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's, that's really, really, really good. With these, it's kind of all art. So do we want to oh, do pencils and pens as well? I, also, they're sticks of color. They're these sticks, are not of, sticks color. of color. Sticks of color. That's great. <laughs> May I show you our finest? <laughs> Sir. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, they're short. Oh, why are they short? This is oh, no. really, like I'm gonna cry. Toss it on. Oops. For now, I'm gonna put it on this card. Okay. Oops. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Put the pens here, brushes there, colored pencils here, and then we have extra colored pencils because they didn't fit because they're short and tiny and stupid. And then, shit, they're not stupid. And then chalk. <gasps> Wait, could we put paintbrushes in here? Is that crazy? Oh, no, is it's it not. Is it too short? Wait. It's kind of stupid, but it's cute. It is kind of stupid, but it's like, very cute. In Just theory. the big guys. Yeah, the big guys. <gasps> That's crazy. That's crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did paints here, and then we did beads here. Just two kind of like messier crafts. Here is like kind of one off. We have gem painting. More gem painting. And then the Make It Mini resin craft, guys. I want you to guess when you see the Okay, is it a heart size? They made heart. Oh, that's cute. That's so that's cute. That's so cute. It's almost a heart. No, that's a heart. That's so cute. That's a heart. That's you can, so that's a heart. Cute. For the pizza, you can only For do a that. pizza. I oh. want to take a picture. I think it's anatomically correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right, team, good job. This is the, the finished look for today. Might do some small finishing touches tomorrow. Little wrap up, little after shots, but the organization is there. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's the last day of our touch-ups and kind of finishing off last things. The lamp right here, and it's gonna go in this corner. Also, I brought some more stuff down. I brought down coloring books and sticker by number. Mindfulness coloring book one, stress relief coloring book, good things grow here coloring book. So I'm gonna put these in the one-off bin set up yesterday along with the paint by number and that little treehouse kit. And same with this one. I'm gonna put this in the one-off kit. And then I have like a whole pack of stickers that I forgot about. And all of the stickers I use on a daily basis, I have in my little, in my room. So I've kept all the ones I use on a daily basis there. And then I want all of the rest of them down here for like other people to use. Cause I just don't want stickers to be like sitting there unused. And that's what they are right now in my room. So that's gonna be down here. That's going in the sticker drawer. The last things I brought down were just some like little random art and I have so much art from like that people sent me. For now, I just brought down a, just a cup, just literally like three. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it above this couch shelf for now. I have museum gel. I'm gonna see if museum gel works. I've heard that works. And I also have these little like sticky guys that I might just use. Got this, which is like a, I wish the, I wish the shop was on here. It just says Marlene on the back. I hope everything's okay, but... <laughs> okay, and then I have some of my art that I've done. Um, this is not like my original art. This was like somebody doing a class on like how to really remember. I think it was watercolor drawing. Yeah, this is like a watercolor color drawing tutorial. So this was just like my version of that. But I do think it would be nice eventually to have like all of our own art just 
hung up in different places because I feel like that's inspirational to look around and be like, I made all of this, like I can make more. <laughs> I don't know if this is how you're supposed to use it. It's super malleable and it just like sinks into itself after a while. Oh, it does say for securing glass and crystal. Maybe that's why it's not working. <laughs> oh, that works so well. Oh my gosh. Wait, that works so well. So far, she's rocking it. Look at that. Hey yo. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for this little oat milk, the little oat milk one. Oh, I never finished talking about this, but I got Chobani oat milk stickers from her and this was just like the freebie postcard in it. Okay, well now that those were so easy, I kind of want to go get more of the art I have and hang that up. All right, I got more art. <laughs> the art just fell down. <laughs> okay, all right, I hear, I hear. Okay, well, let me fix this. What I'm realizing is museum gel seems to be more of like a s holding it in place on something versus holding it up like gravity wise. Does that make sense? I would love to just deck out this space with the stuff that y'all send me. That's like a dream. All right, y'all, if you just kindly will travel back in time with me and remember where it is we really started. We started from nothing. We started here. It's dank, it's dark. You can't do crafts here. You can't thrive here in your artistic, creative space. I mean, it looks like what back here looks like, honestly. <laughs> we'll have to sort that another day, but no more. Now, it looks like this. for coming along with me on this journey. This has been so much fun. This has been like a dream come true, legitimately like a dream I didn't know I had and I have now been able to realize. We're gonna have so much fun in here. We're gonna have so many good vlogs and so many good times and so much creativity will come from this. And I'm just so excited to see where this takes us. Thank you for coming along. I can't wait to finish it up in another vlog with y'all. We're gonna do more wall stuff and just kind of have everything finished off perfectly. So I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you for coming along. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye. Oh, it's time to craft. <laughs>